Over the last two weeks, me and Hamza have been watching a lot of self-improvement, productive content on YouTube. And one of the YouTubers Hamza's introduced me to is someone called AMS, which is Alpha Male Strategies. Pretty cringe YouTube name, but he actually has pretty sick advice. I find his mannerisms and the way he talks, his jokes, very funny. So while getting very valuable advice, I'm also laughing my ass off, which is actually the best case scenario for watching uh, productive stuff like that. Awesome advice, really funny guy, but I can't get over the idea that trying to convince low interest or like mid interest women into like becoming more high interest in you by using like these tips and tricks and like game and like oh texting game text back four hours later etc I can't get over the idea that that is like just some loser shit if you're a young man who's heavily motivated by the idea of sex whether it be casual sex or like more affectionate uh, relationship sex I think the last thing you should be doing is obsessing over that idea because it's actually very counterintuitive especially obsessing over like these sort of low quality strategies to actually try and convince women that you are the shit rather than actually just being the shit. I give AMS a lot of credit actually because he does talk about a ridiculous amount being on your purpose which is the best case scenario. The absolute best most efficient way to get bitches <laughs> is to be on your purpose and to build your success and that way you don't need to rely on game or any tricks or tips or fucking hacks or like <laughs> manipulative strategies to actually convince women that you are worthy of their time women are literally evolved to stick by the men who can provide them with security stability and also babies good looking babies using game might land you some one night stands with some three out of ten hoes but why are you actively pursuing that? Why are you spending a crazy amount of time studying strategies on how to somewhat manipulate women <laughs> into uh, wanting to have sex with you and thinking you're actually worth their time? That seems a bit crazy to me, guys. Of course, game isn't all like, you know, very manipulative and kind of like sort of trickery. But on the most part, it is basically just convincing women that you are high value. And again, you don't have to do that that if you are high value. <laughs> Pursuing women who have low interest in you with game is incredibly shallow. It's not going to make you feel fulfilled. It's going to give you a very fleeting feeling of happiness. You get the one night of validation and then after that you're back to square one. You're not actually moving forward. It is quite literally a form of instant gratification. Think about it. you're trading your time which you could be spending becoming a more successful purposeful man and instead you're studying how, how to land three out of 10 club parties on a weekly basis. Like, well done, bro. The absolute best case scenario, if you are looking to expand your horizons in terms of your sex life, your relationships, is to be on your purpose. It is to build your success. It's to build a positive circle of people around you. And it is to be busy, actually busy. So you're not constantly clogging your brain with thoughts of women and oh my god I need to get my dick sucked. Trust me buddy there's plenty of time for that once you've built your success. <laughs> Picture it like this. You're kind of in a soul sucking 9 to 5 job right now. It's not moving you forward in life it's getting you just the results that you need though and so you're remaining content with it. And by the end of the work day, you've got your wage, you know, you've got your fucking nine pounds an hour or whatever. And by the end, you're left just enough satisfied and just no energy left at that point to actually like move forward in your life. You're trading your energy for complacency pretty much, but it's not moving you forward. It's not making you a better man. It's in fact, probably making you a less desirable man because again, no high value man has to convince people People that they are high value. If you're on your purpose, if you're building your own success, great people will automatically begin to orbit you. And that is the best case scenario. You get to actually pick and choose who you want to give your attention and your time to, which is incredibly valuable. Women have a abundance mindset naturally because of the amount of options they have, because of dweebs like you constantly hitting them up. They've got literally tens, hundreds maybe, of men in their DMs constantly trying to hit a lick, trying to get a mere picture of their feet or uh, <laughs> one square meter of their nipple. <laughs> I'm just...
Please, my queen. <laughs> Just one droplet of your piss. <laughs> <laughs> Constantly, tens of hundreds of men like that, they have abundance. Literally, they have a line of dudes at their door and they get to have a look out and see which one do I fancy today. Men have the opposite. Men have the scarcity mindset where they will basically just choose whoever chooses them. Like this fucking two out of ten is giving me attention. Oh, baby. If you become a high value, successful man, you will become one of the very few men who has an abundance mindset mindset and a man with an abundance mindset is very powerful guys the more women you convert into the high interest category with your success with your looks with your status the less game matters the less these bullshit texting and dating strategies matter <laughs> because you don't need to convince them they're convinced your mere existence is enough convincing for them to see oh wait this is a man which i would like to spend my time with if you want to become successful if you want to become rich if you want to become a high value man then sacrifices must be made and if you are very sex driven then you are going to have to sacrifice sex for a while not entirely because there will still be some high interest women who see the potential within you and already have interest. But for the majority, you're going to be dealing with low to medium interest women and it is just a ball ache and a big fucking waste of your valuable time to try and convince them that you aren't mid-tier, you're actually high tier. <laughs> so my suggestion to you is just fucking stop. Stop obsessing over this shit and actually obsess over your purpose, your mission and your success. And with that will come bountiful bits. <laughs> Stop wasting your time studying how to land 3 out of 10 creatures of the night and start building your success. And again, uh, I actually really rate AMS, uh, the YouTube channel Alpha Male Strategies. Bit of a cringe name, but it's okay. Really funny guy, and he actually has really good advice. Just choose where to apply it though, because he actually made a video where he said this exact scenario, just like, he's that focused on his own success that he's not even bothering with game. He's just picking and choosing from the high interest women and boom, his sex life sword. Best case scenario. But he also has a bunch of videos on like, you know, how to convert low to medium interest women into like, you know, being high interest and text game and all this bullshit. If you really, really want to waste your time obsessing over that shit, some of it might prove valuable to know, but like generally like there's people who dedicate years of their lives to this. My friend Hamza included who's in there singing right now. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him singing, I hope not. It's a big waste of time. Hope this video was helpful, hope you found some value in it. If you're not already, join the Discord, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care guys.